How do you, Frank, show? You, you want to call, you can, 1-800-955-KLOS if you have anything you want to ask Lisa. Or you can actually use our text line, Heidi and Frank text line. Just text HF in your question or comment to 68683. Let's get Lisa May in here. All right. Yes. There she is. Hello, my friend. Good to see you. Hey, Lisa. Can I have you? Yes, of course, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by and, and doing this with us. Well, I was so, excited. To so do curious. This. this is fun. Yay. I know. I called you on the phone, and now I have your phone number. I'm like, I got your phone number. <laughs> Just so you know, start getting crank called. It's weird. The Virgin Piglet thing was absolutely right. <laughs> I don't know how. I was like, how do you tell? CBS. Yeah. Yeah. It's CBS. Huge. I've been fired by them too. <laughs> <laughs> I know how they do it. I know how they do it. And they had the robes, um, but they wore Nixon masks, and I don't, I don't know <laughs> what that was, was about. No, very weird. It's uh, all so bizarre. Thank you, Lisa May, uh, for joining us. Uh, obviously, you are an icon in Los Angeles radio. Been on the air for 24 years with uh, with Kevin and Bean doing traffic. So people wake up with you every single morning. Yeah. Besides those other guys, well, don't who make wake her sound slutty. Every morning. You know? I know. Besides, <laughs> besides everyone else who wakes up with you, and. Uh, I think uh, the entire community uh, shocked when they when they heard the news that uh, you were let go. So uh, no one more than me. Really, <laughs> I was not, really not just... even a clue. Before you no. get into the, before you get into that, I, I am curious because I mean, obviously you're beloved and you've been around a long time and people love you. But do you do you kind of forget cause you're you're in it day to day? But then when this happens, like. Facebook explodes, Twitter explodes, yeah. and you're like, whoa. I mean, I didn't realize, like, Never. all the love. You know what I mean? Like, it, it took that to, for you to feel like, whoa, people really do care. It was shocking. It was, uh, my news feed was just pop, 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 yeah. like crazy. And I, I, I'm sure m- most of it is because they love me so much, but I also think there's the element of there's they consider that show any show that you've listened to for years that's your family you know you're in their house in their car every single day and they you know it's like they kicked their little sister out of the car while they were going 50 miles an hour or something and people are like outraged by that like how could you do that to her i mean 24 years so they said that's uh i mean you are part of the show there's no take there's no mixing it up it's like either either you all quit and, and, and retire together That's and, and go off into happen. the sunset yeah. with ticker tape parades and right. stuff. Have a Thank great you. last week. That's what I was last hoping day. would happen, that all of you <laughs> just retire. I would just go away, for God's sake. Um, so when uh, you were called into the office, take it to the next It didn't even happen that way. So um, we came back from, I think President's Day was the last holiday we had. So we came back from that. Um, it was a Tuesday. Everything was fine. I went home and I got an email from uh, Nick, who normally fills in for me when I'm gone doing traffic. Okay. And he said, why am I filling in for you tomorrow? And which I would have been like, Wednesday. Which would have been okay. Wednesday. And I always make those arrangements. And I said, I have no idea what, what's going on. So I called Dave, the producer, and said, what's, like, why is Nick working for me? Do you know what's going on? He said, no, I was just told to do that. And the right then I go, Dave, am I getting fired? Like, it just, there's no other reason that they would be doing that. And um, he said, I don't know. I don't know, Lisa. So then I got it. As you guys may know, I um, technically worked for Total Traffic, Mm -hmm. which used to be Metro Traffic. Right. Um, And then I was sort of a part-time K-Rock employee for all of the endorsement commercials. Mm -hmm. So so my boss at Total Traffic, Terry Edwards, uh, emailed me and said, you have to call me now. And I called and he said, I can't tell you legally what is going on, but you don't go to work tomorrow, but come to the station at 10 a.m. Meet me there. <laughs> meeting, go, meeting, go to K-Rock uh, at 10 Yeah, go to K-Rock at 10 a.m. Like and I said, my birthday. am I getting fired? Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't tell you legally, but you know. Of but you course. don't know, but point. you know. And that's it's the worst part. It's like after all these years, I understand. It's like ending anything is hard, but after all those years, at least do it the right way. Yes. At least say, hey, listen, this is, we're, I mean, that would suck too because it's ending. Sure. But to do it like this. So you never had like the the last day on the air where the guys Mm-mm. and everybody could be like, oh, and you have like a, you know, a big group hug at the end and there's no. no closure with the audience, no closure with the guys. No, it just kind of disappeared. So I went in the next day at 10 a.m. and and there was an HR person from Total Traffic with the packet. You know, oh, the, the packet. packet. Oh, my God. The packet. <laughs> with, <laughs> with your final check, and maybe you want a lawyer look over these papers with you, but once you sign those, then, you know, you can get your your um, severance, which, mm-hmm. I, you know, Total Traffic is union, thank God, mm-hmm. and I had actually been their employee for 29 years or something, so I got severance, You're which gonna be was all right. nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then 
uh, Terry said, I think Kevin Weatherly wants to talk to you. And I thought, well, I should think so. Someone should talk to <laughs> me. Right. Kevin is for the big boss over there. Yes. Kayla. The program director, because all she, the, the HR girl said was, um, you're not being let go for cause. Okay. That's it. Yeah. You did so nothing you did nothing wrong. wrong. We just don't want you here anymore. We just don't want That's you here nice. anymore. So um, now I'm starting to cry, which, yeah. you know, you're trying so hard not right. to, but it's, it's just a flood of emotions. Yeah. And Plus, walk- you're already drunk as hell. <laughs> <laughs> It's like sad. It's like sad tears, but it's probably like you know the frustrated cry where you're just like, "What is happening?" What? I just don't, yes. like, you're just like, it's "I don't totally I'm like frustrated. That. I don't know why this what is happening." Why don't you <laughs> like me anymore? <laughs> right? Yeah, you just well, you want to know why. And it's not like traffic uh, is going away in Los Angeles. I mean, did they give you some lame excuse like, "Well, everyone's got the apps on their phone now. We really don't, you know, yes. need someone to tell them the traffic because they can find it." Well, so I went into Kevin Weatherly's office, and he sees my face, and he comes over and he gives me like the longest nicest hug and says i know the guys want to be here so they bring in everybody except for being because we had to call him on the phone yeah because he's in seattle right and um and yeah i mean my first words were i i can't believe this is how this is happening like this is you guys know me you've known me for so long nobody could call me nobody could talk yeah, where's to me the like respect? anything and um and they said the lawyers said we absolutely Absolutely could not get in touch with you. Or there could be a lawsuit. I mean, oh my I, God. But, I mean, I could have sued so many times. Right. And I never did. Just from th- that hug alone there at the right. end. Yeah. You could have right to HR. Ass. You could have hey. K Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I wasn't gonna, but yeah, so the first thing they said was, um, yeah, we, we're not doing traffic anymore because people have apps and we've been thinking about getting rid of it for a long time and they let Doc on the Rock go too. Mm-hmm. We're not doing yeah. news anymore. Did they th- the same with him? Was it the crappy letting go? I I assume so. I, I don't know what happened with him. I think he just disappeared as well and nothing was said. And um, and and that's when I said, but y- you are bringing in another woman, right? Yes, oh. and they did bring in another woman. And so you felt, this is like in a real breakup. You're like, no, you're not just, we're not just done. You have yes. somebody else. There's, That's why you've you're. You've been seeing somebody, haven't you? Oh, you know, and that, that women's intuition. Because how, how yes. soon did uh, Allie start? The uh, following Monday. So, yes, Lisa. obviously, obviously there's some overlap. We talked to her yes. a couple times, figured everything out. Yeah. And, and, I, oh. and, and no one said anything. And I said, Allie McKay. And it was like, yes. Holy and I, cow. I, I can't swear to this, and maybe I'm dead wrong, but I really felt like no one was going to tell me that in that meeting. May, maybe they were. I don't know. No, they weren't. I, I can tell you I that. I don't they, think they no, were. They a, like, if you look it at it in the, a regular breakup, it's like, who oh, is she? Who <laughs> is like, and it's not about that. It's right, just right. about, you know, me and you. Like, I've just, they would have never said that. They would have never. That, that but, was my feeling. But you had the gut. And she starts, what is she doing? What is she doing there? Is she doing traffic? No, they don't do traffic anymore. I didn't so know she's that just, was a lie as well. I didn't so know. So what is she doing there? She's um, just being like Heidi. I mean, she's the female. <laughs> nothing? She does nothing? <laughs> they hired someone to sit there on their ass and do nothing? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> I had your back up until this and moment. Be beautiful. I'm happy to let you go, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but why couldn't they say? Um, oh, in traffic, by the way, the contract doesn't end for another year. So oh they still have to run the commercials. So why, so not ride not like, that, why not ride that out and go, hey, listen, in a year? Well, I think they wanted Allie. I mean, Allie was available. She was looking for something. She had filled in for Ralph before the end of the year. Okay. We all liked her a lot. And they were kind of trying to figure out things that they could use oh, yeah, her she's for. she's a sweetheart. So she she's totally would, hot. See, my God. Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> so she, would, she was there when you, not when, she was there when you were there. Mm-hmm. She wasn't like she filled in for you because Nick filled in for you. Right. She so filled she, in for Ralph. Um, okay. Yeah, before the end of the year. They wanted and, to get rid of Ralph and then hire Allie. They like her so damn much. Yeah, and have a couple of hot <laughs> chicks in there. Oh, you know, I've had a discussion with a couple of people about this. What is wrong with having two women? Do you do you? I see, see nothing wrong, no ladies. Shows. Get over here. Come on, <laughs> come on, get over here, ladies. Uh, there's saying, not a show in LA with two females. Right. There, there's a lot of shows with one w- woman and several men, but none with two women. I yeah. don't, I don't know what that's about. Are you throwing it out there? Are you suggesting something? I'm just saying something? it's a little sexist. Couple, is couple all. Of well, ladies. well, you know that. Yeah, that's, I mean, it that's, is. that's the world. That's, the, I mean, that's just the it's world. It's a man's world, ladies. When it comes to radio, it really is a, a male-dominated. So for you, it, it still for you is, guys yeah. to be, I mean, as far as you two and being in Los Angeles and what you've done is you know, huge accomplishments. That's why I'm surprised when uh, 
there wasn't more fanfare or more respect or, you know, let's give you the option of saying, you know what, I'm going to call it quits. Let me retire. Let me get the party. Let's let's have it on the air. Let's do do, do it for the show. Even if it was some corporate guy's decision, some lawyer someplace in New York. I know how CBS works. And it's it's their decision to do something. Listen, it's not our, you know, this is from up here. So let's figure out a way to make it, to hoist you up once. And it just didn't seem like anybody came to bat. It sounds like what happened is they signed the contract, and then, boom, the lawyers came in and said, you can't talk to her, and we're letting her go tomorrow. I I mean, I know that Kevin and Bean and maybe Ralph had some input into the change. They probably have to meet Allie or know who's coming in to be, who's going to work with them. I mean, you have to to, to have to All of that had to be in place. I mean, they had to give it an okay. Right. I think if they had all been dead set against it, I I don't think it would have happened. No, of course not. I couldn't have because they're like, well, and you no. could always yeah. say, let's just stop doing traffic. You don't have to do traffic anymore. Now you can just hang out with the boys. And you, don't, you don't have to prepare traffic. So awesome. So right. that wasn't really a reason. That so, really uh, wasn't it. it. They wanted to make a change. At least stick that's around. That's okay. Uh, Lisa May is going to stick around and hang out with us for a while. And uh, if you have any uh, questions, you want to talk to her because you haven't been able to talk to her, uh, open the phone lines, 1-800-955-KLOS. And you can also text your questions to... Uh, HF, then your question to 68683. Come right back with Lisa May. We are Heidi and Frank. Welcome back to the Heidi and Frank Show. Very special guest in studio with us. It's Lisa May, formerly of uh, K-Rock, the Kevin and Bean Show. Oh, there's uh, the applause I've been waiting for. Ceremoniously let go. <laughs> uh, opening up the phones to you, because I know uh, you have a lot of fans. who uh, We share a lot of fans uh, mm-hmm. with you. So let's just open the phones. Let's talk to uh, Rich. He was the first one through. Hello, Rich. Hey, how you guys doing? How's it going, Lisa May? Hey, Rich. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Well, so here's my question. Now, obviously, this sucks, but how is your relationship with the Kevin and Bean show now? And and do you think we'll ever get a chance to have closure and, you know, say goodbye to you as you were our family? I mean, I've listened to you for over 20 years. Um, probably not as part of the show. There's not going to be any sort of... So say goodbye here, Rich. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Rich. <laughs> but some, yeah. some, um, some listeners are putting together something uh, in May where we're all going to meet at a club. Oh, cool. Which is very oh. cool. So it'll be, it'll be an informal thing. But yeah, as far as the show doing anything now. But I have talked to Kevin and Bean, and I've emailed with Ralph, and, you know, I'm, it's not like we hate each other or anything. I actually think we'll be fine. But personally. you'll probably never talk again. Well, right. I have talked to Bean. But I mean, after that initial, like, <laughs> no, I've talked to never twice. again. <laughs> uh, thank you, Rich. Uh, let's go to uh, Lillian. Hello, Lillian. Hi there. Um, Lisa and I have been listening to you for over 20 years. It's been heartbreaking to uh, know that this has happened to you. Where, yes. You know, I know that all of your fans are so upset. But it just seems that, in particular, Ralph has been one who's been completely narcissistic in this, through this whole process, you know, when... When they finally came out and said what had occurred and that you were no longer on the air, it, he, he got really emotional about how this affected him, how the fans have gone to him and, and kind of, you know, been negative towards him. And without really any consideration or anything spoken about, my gosh, you've been there for 25 years. This has really affected you. So how was your relationship during the time that you were on the show? You were there longer than he was. Yeah, no, we were fine. I, I never had um, any issues with Ralph. I don't, we never like butted heads or anything. So I, I just think he's um, crusty on the outside and a softy on the inside. And I think he was really upset when people started saying, what did you do? Why did you do this? Um, and he seemed to take it very personally, at least initially. And um, Why would they go after him? It's not like um, he made the decision. I don't, I don't know exactly. Because he, he didn't defend, somebody. That he didn't defend or try to keep you around. You no, know, I think they... part of it was you, his initial reaction is why they went after him. Mm. And what was that? It, it was very defensive, and he started blocking people. Um, on Facebook, who had like uh, in, in support no of Lisa, no peace or whatever, yeah, in support oh. of me, and he he seemed to take that very personally. And then the following week, he apologized for it and sort of explained that he had reacted on a personal level and was kind of trying to protect himself. How did they explain it on the show? Like she just made mention of, oh, they said, hey, Lisa's not here anymore, but that's- well, they did the, you know. So I mentioned finally on Friday morning. I never mentioned that Ali was coming in, but I said, hey, I'm not coming back because people were like, are you on vacation? I said, no, I've been laid off. Laid off. I'm not coming back. I love really that word. Lay off. <laughs> and um and and as you had mentioned, I think off the air, like everything went crazy on 
Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. And so around 8.30 Friday morning, they had to address it. And they I don't think they were ready. So it was basically the, we're not doing traffic and we're not doing news anymore. And that's why Lisa and Doc are gone. And that's it. And that was it. And then the following week after Allie came in, it became very obvious that there was more to that story. <laughs> yeah. And then I think that following Wednesday, they went back on and said a little more and they just kind of slowly told the story yeah like they could have uh, planned it a little better or done uh, or respected you a little better in that they didn't have an excuse once the, the questions started coming yeah, in they should have like, oh, just uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, uh, stop looking at me yeah uh, yeah. I've got some uh, text coming in on the uh, Heidi and Frank text line. is text HF and your comment to 68683 uh, from the 503. says, uh, don't worry, Lisa. No one listens to Kevin and Bean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I, I miss Lisa's sexy voice. I completely stopped listening to K-Rock after what they did to her and their BS explanation. You guys should bring her back. Really? <laughs> Can you do traffic? Can I do traffic? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. kidding. Uh, Let's see. Boycott K-Rock. Love you, Lisa. Then uh, somebody had an interesting twist. I said, what if this is just all a big coup played on you, Heidi and Frank, that uh, Lisa's not really fired? They just knew that that you would have her on your show to promote their show. That's so crafty. Oh. Those sons of bitches got us again. Oh, dang it. Lisa will be back on their show tomorrow. Dang it. You no got way. us. <laughs> Guys. It was Free a promotion. long con, right? <laughs> it was a very long con. I mean, you did a whole podcast with, uh, with Allison. With Allison, yeah. yep. It was formerly of uh, Adam Carolla's uh, podcast that he, he that, did for so long. That was very interesting. I have to say that Kevin and Bean have not badmouthed me in any way. They've been nothing but lovely. I mean, yes, they wanted to make the change, but um, unlike Allison, who, you know, Adam went on and, like, named all the reasons why he decided to make a change they've been very very sweet it's like we loved her we just felt like we needed to freshen up the show and um so so i don't feel a victim in that way freshen up the show yeah i what does that exactly mean well it's it's not like they got a 19 year old girl in there no you know what i mean nothing against a great idea heidi ali mac hey (laughs) bring it on i I will sleep in and be thrilled about where you're headed um but it's like ali mac who's good i mean she's when she was at ktla she came in and and interviewed us a couple of times she's fine but it's Mm -hmm. not like we're freshing up the show with somebody who is super young i mean i don't understand like she's a contemporary the idea is that she um i mean any new person is going to bring new things to the show and she has different interests. She's into sports, which I'm not. Although everybody else on the show is, so I don't know why that was important. Right. But um, and maybe she does voices. I heard like so she can add different elements that I couldn't add. What and, what voice the, did you hear that she could do? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> I don't know. She does mean droopy. Can you do droopy? <laughs> I heard you're droopy. Yeah. <laughs> what happened impressed. to Lara Flynn Boyle? I mean, I haven't seen I her haven't face. I haven't seen until, the picture. Oh, pull up a picture of that because that is well, just he, sad. It's her birthday and she had said, he had said, yeah, Lara Flynn Boyle, yeah. And I go. Yeah, you might want to look at that picture. Have you seen her lately? No, no, no. And, you know, she she does the typical, yeah. like, oh trying to have God. too much work done. And then, you, like I said, you can't, don't mess with the lips. Stop it with that because yeah. you can't, you, no, they haven't gotten it. Nope, you're absolutely figured out right. Yet. You're absolutely and then right. You wow. still have done the injections. Now, in we're going to feel bad if she, like, you mentioned Jerry Lewis. We're going to feel bad if this <laughs> yeah. is like, she's, she's on actually, steroids. Yeah, she's for on a retinazone thing, yeah. thing and for fighting some sort of blood disease. Yeah. And I'll be like, oh, I'm she's jackass. always baffled me. She's, she's always been so freaking thin it's mm-hmm. just yeah. and she's just always smoking cigarettes outside of restaurants like she never actually thin. Eats. i think right. she might be allergic to cigarettes because look <laughs> at her face she's swole up yes. what's a cigarette down there all right let's go back to the phones 1-800-955 klos is the number we got a very special guest on with us today lisa may is hanging out with us let's talk to david hello david hi lisa may how's it going hi david good hey long time listener and i missed the heck of heck out of you at, at that uh, program with the other guys. <laughs> that, yeah, this yeah, shall that. not be named. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate I that. Be, what's next for you? Because whatever program you land on, I will listen to you. <gasps> That's so nice of you. I don't know. I mean, I've, I've talked to a couple of um, people in town. Playboy? <laughs> yes. Yes, Playboy Playboy Radio? Playboy Radio. <laughs> oh, just Playboy. No, just the magazine. I did Playboy years ago. Did you really? Yeah, How? but I can't, I can't for was legal it, reasons, I can't talk about it. Was it the women of radio issue? Because I've been <laughs> trying to get Heidi in that damn thing for no years. Interest. And, no interest, no. And they will never return my call. No. Even before that. Even before women of radio. Yeah, yeah, it was right in the beginning. But <laughs> wow. we can't talk about that. We can't that. talk about it at all. Uh, thank you so much, David. Let's go to Nicole. Hello, Nicole. Hey, how's it going? Say hello to Lisa May. 
Hey, Lisa May, I miss you so much. Oh, thanks, Nicole. Me too. <laughs> that was fun, right? <laughs> yeah, it totally was. Good times for 20 years. Absolutely. Good times. Um, yeah, so I totally don't really listen to them anymore because you, you left, but I have checked in on their show, and it's kind of boring, to be honest. Um, but I love Heidi and Frank, so yay. Well, there um, you yeah. go. I mean, I don't want to. my question. Go ahead. Sorry, what? Oh, I, I don't want to actively encourage people not to listen to K Rock. I, I will. Mean, that's a weird I will. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't listen, listen to K Rock. <laughs> They're sons of better. bitches. Yeah. They're mean. How dare they? <laughs> Did you? I'm sorry. I interrupted you. Do you have something else? No, I already hung up on oh, her. Oh, you did. Never I like mind. The fact she's like, I don't sorry. listen anymore. I'm like, okay, hang up. <laughs> yeah, don't I don't want to say anymore. something nice Just after that. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Let's let's uh, see. Al says, have you spoken with Doc after you got let no, go? No, I have not. I worry for Doc. <laughs> I yeah. really. I think um, that job was everything. What, yeah. Yeah. It really was. Mm-hmm. It really was. So, I, no, I haven't. And that's terrible. Well, somebody should check I in on to, Doc. Yes. Yeah, it's like, yes. let's, let's call Doc. Let's see if he wants <laughs> to run down here real quick. We'll get Doc in here, too. Talk to Doc. Oh, right. Is, is he on Facebook and Twitter? Or he I don't think seem like so. the type of guy who would be. I don't be. think he no. is. No. Is he actually, he's probably just living on a rock someplace. He's <laughs> Doc on the rock. He's just so far out there in the desert right now. Uh, let's go to Jeff. Hello, Jeff. Jeff. Hey, good morning, hey, Heidi. Say hello, Lisa May. I'm. I missed the bell, unfortunately. Ding. Oh, I have I one at home. What is the worst thing that Kevin and Bean ever did to you where you thought, you know, I could sue the pants off these guys if I wanted to? Oh, my God. There's so many things. <laughs> a lot of years. That's a lot of years, Jeff. I mean, Jeff. we played Lick Lisa, and we had interns, like, lick me for prizes, which <laughs> generally was okay, but there were a few interns that, oh, my God. I was like, You're like really? Oh. Is this Well, like coming up next, it's Lick Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, 1-800-955-5567. Uh, is Lisa going to do the traffic? Really? Oh. When? Right now? Oh. You want to do it right now? If you wanted to, sure. I, do you I, want to do the I traffic right it, now? I can do it, but I don't know if this is very accurate. <laughs> <laughs> She's, oh, well, you got it like 20 minutes ago? Oh, hell. It's probably Remember, fun. nobody needs traffic you know, anyway. You know, oh, you know come that, on, who right? cares? Traffic schmaffing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's, let's uh, hear uh, Lisa May do traffic. All right. uh, I'm oh. just going to do it from memory. Oh, oh my God. Oh. All right, you guys, here it is one more time. Oh, boy. If you're on the 405 freeway southbound, it's going to be slow coming out of the valley, probably starting around, I would say, Roscoe down to Getty Center Drive. It's going to loosen up a little right around Getty. And then uh, it's going to load up again as you get down to the 10, staying busy for you all the way down to LAX. Imagine the 405 freeway southbound, pretty slow through Orange County. It happens about this time, right, from Brookhurst, heading down towards Harbor Boulevard in the Costa Mesa area. Northbound 5, that's a mess from Calzona, all the way into the East LA Interchange. Nothing you can do about that. If you're on the Hollywood freeway southbound, that's loading up right now, right around Vineland. It's a busy one. Stop and go, slow and go, all the way into the East Delhi Interchange. And that's traffic. I'm Lisa May. Oh my God. That's so there's, there's no carpool lane on the five. That's what makes it no, a real bitch. That's, no. that's tough. That's why it's so hard there. Why won't they We do need that? traffic. We do. Uh, screw the app. The app's not a human. The app doesn't have emotion. The app doesn't care. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you. That was a good moment. We'll be right back. We're Heidi and Frank.